Hi everyone, this is the last haul before my no buy or low buy. Um, I'm calling it this because I need to stop buying for a while. I need to actually play with all the makeup I have, with all the things I bought, and work on my project pan items before I buy anything else, to be honest. The last month and a half, give or take, was kind of... Ugh. I don't even know what to call it. It was not good. With the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty, the Ulta 20% off coupon I got, and the Sephora sale, and Urban Decay coming out with their Beached Collection, it was a little problematic, I would say. So, um, yes, I did get something from the uh, new Urban Decay Collection, and I also um, used the um, Earth Day sale from uh, Zoya to... Um, add a few more nail polishes. I, If you remember, I didn't have too many polishes when I moved here. I had a whooping six polishes. I have added um, six more during the sale from Ulta and Sephora. And with the Soya, I added another six, though technically we should only call it five because I accidentally bought a duplicate. I didn't pay attention. But on the bright side, I bought a duplicate of the polish I like the most of all the Zoya polishes I already had. So, um, I'll just, I'm fine with it. It's okay. I'll just have to pay on a polish this year, I guess. <laughs> oh man, I'm telling you, it's not, it's not good. But it happened and, um, it is what it is. Um, let's get right into it. We're gonna start with Zoya because, um, that's gonna be the easiest. I like that if you buy six polishes, they actually come in these boxes. makes it easier for me to store. And I have one of the polishes outside. Okay. Let me make this easy. Um, The polish I have outside is the polish I have on my nails right now. It is the shade... Oh, Lord. Let me look it up. So, the polish I have on today is the shade Rue. Rue is a neutral pink I would say it's a pinky shade with a hint of purple in it um, it's not really cool tone it's not really warm tone it works well for me which um, I'm happy about this is just a nice everyday shade um, not too dark not too light just perfect it's easy to apply I have um, one coat on I could have used a second one just to even things out but even one coat looks very nice and very polished which is nice because that way I can use it when I'm on the go and I don't have a lot of time. Just throw this one on. As you can see, we have a little guest. Um, go right in with the next um, Zoya polish. This is the shade Mia. Mia is more of a pink toned um, neutral shade. I like these nudie shades because they're very easy to apply. They're easy to wear. I don't have to think about them too much. This one, I would say, is a bit more pink toned than Rue. Next up, I have the shade Brighton. Brighton is um, I would say it's a very light taupe with some glitter in it. Then I have the shade Ziv. Ziv is a light, very shimmery golden shade. It's almost metallic, but not entirely. The shade Autumn right here is a copper very very nice reddish coppery shade there we go can't wait to try or apply this and lastly my duplicate is the shade flowy flowy from the get-go was my absolute favorite it's a warm brown with a hint of orange it's it's very neutral but it's a little darker so it's nice for everyday wear I have to be a bit more careful. I have to apply at least two coats with this one just to make it even. And um, to not have any um, lines, near lines shine through. But this is just awesome. I like the shade. So, like I said, I'm only semi mad at myself for accidentally buying a duplicate. So, um, these are the shades. And then I got, because I spent a little more, well, I bought six shades, so kind of a little more. Um, they would have been 10, but they were, I think, 50% off, so 5 each. Um, with 5, I can live. Um, I got, um, as a um, bonus item, as a um, gift for purchase, 
their naked manicure hydrate and heal a dry skin hand and body system this comes with um, the hydrating hand and body serum right here in this spray bottle and also the healing hand and body cream right here so these are nice sizes to be honest pardon me um, I think it's two ounces each yes two ounces each of the um, body hand and body cream and the hand and body serum that's nice that's real nice to try out um, this one here I can't wait to see how I like it and then um, my altar order um, for the beached collection I got I got the palette I got one of the bronzers one of the eyeliners and one of the vice lipsticks so I'm gonna unpack them as you can see they're still in the packaging I just got the box this packaging is absolutely gorgeous I saw the beached palette in the um, um, when they first um, uh, posted a picture I think on Instagram and I was like I have to get this this is just right up my alley and um, gosh darn why can't I open this the other side maybe yep that's easier so on the back you can see all the nice shades and then this is how it opens there's a nice big mirror right here and these are the shades I like them this is a dark brown a dark blue um, a darker teal I would say this is a more metal um, a metally bronze shade this is a matte reddish brown up here we have a metal -y metallic or at least now I would say that's a shimmer that's a shimmery red shade this is a light golden bronze and then this is a skin tone color and we got the hiccups oh boy the um, bronzer here I got in the shade Sunkissed this is the lighter of the two bronzers oh please don't tell me you can't no, they could have shut. Why would you do that? This is the lighter of the two bronzers, and um, I have never tried an Urban Decay. Well, no, I have the Urban Decay bronzer in my uh, Naked Flush palette. But these I kept looking at because I mean, this packaging, it's just gorgeous. And this shade here, I think, will work well for me for my skin tone. It's about the same as what I have right now. So, I can't wait. The eyeliner I got, uh, they have the shade Goldmine, which is a very yellowy um, golden shade. I'm so torn about that one. Um, this might be my one exception to the low buy slash no buy. I have to think about that. I'm not sure how often I would wear it. And then this one here is in the shade Lucky. It's hard to read. This is a orangey bronze shade. And um, I can't. I need to play with this. I'm not swatching anything right now because I am hoping that um, about two weeks from now my camera will be back and then I have the better quality and then we'll have the co the colors will be more accurate. So um, for the time being, it's more a um, let me show this to you. Um, this is the lipstick um, I just unpacked. It. This is in the shade Heat Wave, which is a metalized um corally orangey red i would say um it has golden shimmer particles in there i can't wait to try this i like the urban k lipsticks in general so this will hopefully be fun to use and wear and excuse the straight hairs it's been a long day already <laughs> Okay. <laughs> 
And then my order came with two gifts for the purchase. I have a um, travel size of the Urban Decay All Nighter Long Lasting Makeup Setting Spray. I haven't had this in a while, so um, I'm quite glad about this. When it gets warmer outside, I'm pretty sure this will be nice to use. And, like I don't have enough mascara right now anyway, um, I'm not going to complain about this one though, because now I get to try the Urban Decay Travel Maker Mascara, which um, I've heard so-so reviews about, kind of torn. I want to see what they what it does for my lashes because mascaras and lashes they're very very different. And this is oh this is a kind of cute sample. Look at this. I mean in comparison to my hands even that is cute. I can't wait to try this. This is gonna be fun and this is um one that I might just throw into a project pan because I would have to use it up and it's gone. So that being said, um, yes, I am going on a no buy slash low buy. I'm calling it no buy slash low buy because it really depends on um, how long I'm going to do this. I don't know yet. Like I said, I may add that gold mine eyeliner because I do like this quite a bit. And I, there were two more um, lipsticks in that collection. I don't need lipsticks, so I'm really not saying I'm going to buy one, but um. There's two more lipsticks in the collection that I, one of them I liked, one of them was like, eh, I don't know. It was, basically it looked on the swatches like a clear lipstick with glitter in it. And I'm not a fan of that, really. But um, there was a, if I remember correctly, this is the um, medium shade. And then there was a corally red, which looked gorgeous on the swatches I've seen. It's right up my alley, so um, this one I'm torn about. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, these are the two items that I am going to give my way, myself a leeway with because they are a limited edition and they are very much up my alley and they're just gorgeous. And it's Urban Decay and Urban Decay I have a soft spot for. But I have every intention of not buying anything except for those two things, unless I run out of it. If I run out of my concealers, I would buy another one, obviously. There's no way I'm going to run out of eye, um, eyeshadow potion, um, like a primer potion or eyeshadow primer in general, anytime soon. And um, there should not be anything I'm running out of anytime soon. So, there's not going to be any hauls, except for maybe those two items, maybe not, like I said. In my near future I want to see how long I can do this I will probably add a tracker to my my planner and um, I will update this um, on Instagram for the most part other than that you'll see if I buy something or not because I'll post a haul if I do so that being said um, if you want to know more about those products like I said my camera should be back the good camera should be back um, about two weeks from now, I hope, and then I will show you a bit more in detail how my products are doing and, um, what they do, and maybe I'll show, um, I'll wear an eye look with everything. Um, we'll see. I do hope, um, you enjoyed this quick haul, and, um, Bear with me on my no slash low buy. I hope this will go well for me. Um, we'll see. Usually I do okay with um, not buying too much. It's just that these sales, they get to me. Which is not cool. But, that being said, I um, hope you will have a great rest of the week. I will try to upload this today. And, um... I will see you guys soon. Bye.